Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last month, near the end of June, Microsoft started rolling out their latest optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11. If we just head to update history, which was KB5014668, and I received my update on the 24th in my region. Now, the update, um, the optional bug fix C release updates, as mentioned, are optional, as many of you know, so you don't have to install the updates, and they are mainly bug fix updates. And 5014668, over and above being a bug fix update, did introduce and start introducing the new search highlights feature, which is becoming more widely available now. Um, after installing the update and is currently on a staggered controlled rollout. So um, I will leave a link to that uh, update video I did post and um, where um, we did mention and talk about this uh, search highlights feature. But over and above search highlights, uh, 5014668 as mentioned is a bug fix update and one of the fixes if we click on learn more and go over to the release notes um, was this fix that Microsoft had mentioned was one of their key highlights for uh, the update, which addressed an issue that might prevent you from upgrading to Windows 11 original release, which is version 21H2, which is the current stable version. And um, although the um, update actually rolled out a fix to, pre uh, to prevent you from upgrading, uh, that might prevent you from upgrading to Windows 11, ironically, um, the update, according to several uh, uh, user reports on the Microsoft Feedback Hub, is actually failing to install. So it's ironic that there was a fix uh, that might prevent you from upgrading to Windows 11, but now the update itself is actually failing to install. And that's why I always uh, mention with the optional uh, updates that roll out near the end of every month, the C-release updates, only install the updates uh, if you are having any issues with your system, else just leave the update alone and ignore the update as it is optional. Now, um, one of the uh, uh, user reports on the feedback feedback hub, one of the users did have a temporary workaround as as, as at this stage, Microsoft hasn't um, rolled out a fix uh, for the issue. And one user said that um, they did manage to uh, resolve the issue by doing an in-place upgrade. And then after several uh, restarts and reboots, and they were then uh, successful and able to install KB5014668. So if you are having issues and are desperate, then you can try that method by doing an in-place upgrade and then doing a couple of reboots, and that may um, get the update installed. Else, um, uh, if you are willing to wait, um, if you are having the issue, um, next week on the 12th of July, which is the second Tuesday of every month, we are getting the... Uh, July patch Tuesday compulsory um, automatic cumulative update which will include um, most of the improvements and fixes that did roll out with 5014668 so we hope when that update does roll out uh, next week Tuesday that Microsoft would have addressed the issue where the update and those updates were failing to install so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one